Well, thanks for joining me again, Star Wars The Clone Wars action figure fans and Star Wars The Clone Wars custom action figure fans. Uh, this video is going to be another series of reviews, and uh, I will have some other figures here to review for you in just a minute. Uh, but the first one, I got kind of a couple of custom figures to do. First one is uh, a custom commission that I made for a uh, guy on YouTube named Back Porch Nerd, and uh, he sent he asked me to make him a Shadow Arc Trooper. Uh, so this is what I came up with. I have a Phase 1.5 helmet painted up in uh, a really kind of cool design, uh, if I do say so myself. Black with a gray pattern on there. He's got a custom-made pauldron here. This is a Captain Rex pauldron and uh, part of an Arc Trooper pauldron that I, I cut off and attached. And then I have some uh, ammo packs here, which were actually from a resin uh, pauldron uh, that I was w using uh, and I glued that on to make a custom arc trooper pauldron I think it looks rather spiffy I did use a uh, Captain Rex head uh, I decided just to leave it the way that it is I think it looks pretty cool with the white bleached out hair on the body so it's not supposed to be Captain Rex it could be another clone trooper that has a similar taste and hairstyle. I'm going to take the pauldron off now so you can see my paint job. So let me get that off. Alright, so he is obviously, uh, if you count this as a rank insignia, he is a captain. And I used a new method for painting those dots on. Instead of trying to brush them on, I actually took the, the, uh, the back tip of the brush and I just kind of dipped it in the paint and I just kind of touched a drop to get that and it made a nice round shape there as you can see for his rank insignia uh, the customer that uh, commissioned this asked for a butterfly design on the shoulder so uh, I did that one up and then I just kinda gave him an irregular light gray camo I used uh, light ghost gray for this camo pattern on the rest of the Arc Trooper's body. Very sporadic. I put a little bit of gray there. Very sort of sporadic, irregular, asymmetrical camo pattern. Not really any regularity to it. A little bit on the legs there. Just to try to break up the light as he's... I, I imagine this guy, um, uh, you know, and, and obviously an urban warfare specialist. Uh, he's gonna be infiltrating in the nighttime, uh, hence the Shadow Arc name. Uh, so Night Ops Specialist, that's why also his T-slit is painted red for night vision. Um, and I imagine him just needing to be able to slip through the darkness and the gray could be there just to break up the uh, the uh, shadows a little bit. And then the customer also asked for a red stripe down his leg and I didn't paint it under here because you wouldn't really be able to see it, but instead I put it on the comma and continued it down the shin. And I actually continued it up onto the ammo pouch there, so... Oh, I'm very, fairly happy with this figure. I think he looks really cool. As a matter of fact, I'm probably going to make a similar one just for myself. Uh, so anyhow, that's the first custom figure uh, in this uh, series of uh, custom reviews. So uh, stay tuned for the next figure. Thank you. Alright, Star Wars The Clone War custom figure fans, uh, back again here with another custom figure review. And we have another Shadow Arc Trooper. This time we have a Phase 1 modified helmet here. And basically what I did, I took this idea from a buddy of mine named uh, Rasputin37, but I know him better as Wraith9 on Imperial Shipyards, and he made a couple of um, Republic Commandos with using the Clone Trooper pilot helmet and he just cut the airbox hoses off of the back here to make it a separate helmet and I think it works really well. I really like the shape of this um, helmet uh, and I used it of course to make an ARC Trooper. So that's my favorite character, my favorite uh, Clone Trooper type. And uh, this one is also a Shadow ARC Trooper. He um, is uh, a night operations specialist uh, could be a sapper with that extra helmet there or um, 
he could be a RC Arc Trooper hybrid uh, with the helmet. I, uh, I like that idea a lot too. Um, he has a uh, he's an older clone because he's got some gray back here, and that's just some tech on his head there that I got to clean off. And uh, don't have a name for this guy yet. I, I did put a little bit of a leather color on his pauldron, and I continued it here with the Django Fett pouches and then he has a instead of gray I actually took a gray and added just a couple of drops of pink or red to it and it turned kind of like this grayish purplish color which I really like I think it actually works good for urban camo and I just and it's kind of hard to see this because the paint is so shiny the black paint uh, which I did turn tone down a bit with some matte uh, or some uh, flat uh, sealer I added to the paint and it still came out rather shiny it tends to happen when you have a fresh pot of black paint well, even if it's semi gloss it does come out a bit shiny but so there you go you can see let me take his pauldron off you can see here uh, I did continue the camo kind of everywhere another irregular pattern like the previous arc trooper and I just thought this guy turned out absolutely fantastic um, on the pauldron, because I didn't mention that, I had gotten uh, a spare set of pauldrons, uh, a spare set of Arc Trooper armor, including pauldron and helmet, um, as part of a commission deal. Uh, it was kind of like a bonus. And uh, this is a resin, this piece here is a resin uh, pauldron shoulder pad from, uh, made by a guy named uh, uh, Clonehead and he's a friend of mine on Imperial Shipyards and uh, I've actually interviewed him on uh, uh, Custom Action Figure News me and my uh, my co-host Tamer interviewed him uh, it was actually the very second episode of Custom Action Figure News when we interviewed him and he does make he does take uh, pieces um, mostly trooper parts but he does a lot of other things in casts them and then makes them again in resin and the way this happened was I was actually trimming it and at a certain point it broke in half but I kept the pieces and I was able to attach it here to make a really neat looking art trooper uh, pauldron so you never know uh, folks if you're a customizer um, you know if something breaks or you cut something weird don't throw it away you might be able to kind of rescue it and use it and I actually prefer this look here that he has on this pauldron I think it looks uh, fantastic and just to give you a quick preview I do have another arc trooper in the works here he hasn't been painted yet um, I'm probably going to make him a shadow arc trooper as well but you can see here's the other half of that pauldron that broke and I've added that onto this pauldron and uh, this guy has a cloth comma and a uh, custom DC-15 blaster rifle and a very cust heavily customized ARC Trooper helmet with a special uh, communications antenna and uh, extra armor on the top there from a tank gunner so this guy's going to be painted up probably like I said as a shadow trooper but that's how you know if something breaks you can always figure out a way to fix it up so that's going to do it for this figure and I have uh, another figure to do and then uh, that's going to probably wrap it up for this video so stay tuned Alright, thanks for joining me again. This is going to be the final custom action figure review uh, in this uh, uh, video here. Um, I received a, uh, finally, a, uh, some money I made off some commissions. I was able to uh, afford an SDCC uh, Zorana figure, G.I. Joe Zorana figure, uh, Zartan's sister, in other words. And, uh, I plan on doing a review of her. She's absolutely fantastic. I am totally in love with this figure. She is beautifully sculpted, and uh, I love the mohawk. The two-tone mohawk is cool. And I don't know if you can see how well you can see on her face in the video, but she does have some great paintwork on her makeup. And she is just fantastic. And in receiving her, I just said to myself, well, I have to have a Xandar to go with her. And Xandar is... Uh, 
is uh, Zartan's brother. And if you're not, a, or if you are a GI Joe fan, or if you're not a GI Joe fan, these are actually my vintage Xandar and Zorana that I've had since I was uh, a boy. And they actually still color change in the sunlight. If you sit these out in the sunlight, just like the original Real American Hero Zartan figure, they will change green. And uh, so here's. Zartan, or Xandar and Zorana, Zartan's brother and sister, and they're kind of a pair. They're actually, I believe they're twins, um, so they kind of just have to go together. So I, I decided to make my own. I've seen quite a few Xandar customs on different forums, uh, and I just said, well, i got to try one. So what I did was, uh, to make this Xandar, is I used the torso and arms, uh, and, you know, the torso and arms of a 25th Zartan figure. I used the head of a mat tracker from the 25th anniversary. I used the legs, the upper legs of a um, wraith figure, mercenary wraith, and the lower legs of a cobra viper. And I did have to dremel a bit here to get them to fit together, but they fit together pretty well. It's just a little bit of dremeling. Um, I did also dremel the tops of the uh, arms, and I did trim a little bit here so that there wouldn't be any paint rubbing. He doesn't rub at all. He, he works really well. Dremeled here and here for uh, paint rubbing, uh, and he has absolutely, I have to say, uh, no paint rubs on him, and he looks great. Uh, for the web gear, what I did was I took a uh, one of those Iron Grenadier Mars Trooper guys web gear, but I dremeled a hole here, and actually, if you pull this gun out, you will see it's it's a Zartan gun, which I think would be cool for Xandar to have, too. And it would make sense that his brother would have the same. And then, uh, on the back here, um, there's several pieces here. This is from a 25th Storm Shadow figure backpack, the, just the arrow quiver I cut off. These are actually some um, bits from a, a, a rotary gun. It was kind of a crappy old gun and the bullets were way too big and they if you look at the uh, a real American hero version he's got sort of like I don't know what they're supposed to be if they're ammo or if they're rockets or if they're grenades or flares or dynamite probably they're dynamite on there so I I put that on there on the sides and then I gave him some pouches and I glued that all onto the web gear so it's all one piece now pretty happy with that and then uh, for the for the uh, bandana, or his uh, headband, I uh, took this off of a uh, piece that came with my Pursuit of Cobra Snake Eyes, the Temple Guardian. It was the Slice helmet. If you know Slice, he has like the sort of the fencing mask and he has this big bow thing. I just cut that off, glued it on, and then painted the headband. And I plan on getting some fix-it sculpt eventually and sculpting the headband on, but it looks pretty good the way it is. And lastly, I gave him the vintage Xandar gun, which is actually fits him rather nicely. I cut the Zartan knife off of the boot, and I put it here. And then I actually took another, the machete, the jungle machete, even though the, the 25th Xandar doesn't have that, I just thought it would be cool to include it, off of a copperhead, an extra copperhead that I had, and put that on there. So he is, whoops, he is... Uh, very, very cool. Oh, and the, the neckerchief here, or the, the, the bandana around his neck is from a um, beachhead uh, figure, and I just kind of trimmed it a little bit and painted it. And then, of course, he's got his, I guess, war paint on his face and on his chest. So there you have it. It's my custom Pursuit of Cobra, or 30th anniversary, I guess this would be a 30th anniversary, custom Xandar to go with his lovely punk rock sister. They're very punk rock. Uh, Zorana. And now I have my, of course, and I don't know if I've done a video on him, but here's my punk rock 20, or Pursuit of Cobra um, Ninja Force Zartan. So now I have the the unholy triumvirate, if you will. Of course, he doesn't want to stand for me. All right, so that's going to do it for this video, and I will have some more. I have plenty more customs. I just don't have enough time to do videos on all of them, but I will be getting some more videos up, and I promise I'm going to start doing reviews. I have all of the first wave of G.I. Joe Renegades, and I do have some a sparse amount of uh, Star Wars figures that I can review for you. Um, uh, so that's going to do it, and until next time... 
Uh, Yojo, Cobra, and may the force be with you. Bye-bye.